As we all know, CapCut is changing the game in 2024, and I'm here to show you why it's such a game changer for content creators. Here are six CapCut features, and it will have you editing like a pro. And I'm telling you, the last one will blow your mind. Some of these features are free while others come with a pro version. But even if you're just using the free version, there's honestly so much that you can already do. But don't worry, I'll indicate which features are free and which ones require the pro version throughout this video. I'm going to be using the mobile version, but these are available on desktop too. And don't forget to comment your favorite CapCut feature below. In CapCut, click Video Translator. Click the plus sign to upload a video. As you can see in this video, my language is English. Motion capture technology recorded movements of a child actor that was the model for the virtual. I want to try out Spanish, so the translation is from English to Spanish. Click translate and wait for your video to load. Click view, then it should now look like this. Movimiento, movimiento, captura de tecnología grabada de movimientos de un niño actor. Ese fue el modelo para el nayon virtual. Amazing, right? The audio is not flawless. It sounds a bit AI and a bit different from the tone of my voice, but it's still incredible. We can also add captions to make it more interesting. Just click the video on the timeline, select Spanish as the language, then choose a template. Then it should look like this. Movimiento, movimiento. Mind blown. Next feature we'll show you is called Enhanced Voice. So I have my sample clip in the CapCut timeline, and when I play it... Hi guys, this is an audio test. As you can see, it's very noisy. You can hear the music, you can hear people chattering. So it's not very professional. That's before. Now, select the clip on the timeline, scroll to the bottom, click on Enhanced Voice, and then enable this. Hi guys, this is an audio test. As you can see, it's very noisy. You can hear the music, you can hear people chattering. So it's not very professional. Amazing, right? The chattering and background noises were reduced. This feature is amazing for removing a lot of background noise. There's also another feature called voice isolation. Turn off the enhanced voice feature, then let's go back to the original clip. Click isolate voice. We have two options here if we want to keep the voice or remove the voice. Click on keep voice and this will isolate my voice from the background noise. It instantly enhanced my audio. Hi guys, this is an audio test. As you can see, it's very noisy. You can hear the music, you can hear people chattering. But here's the interesting part. Here's what it can do to a music track. I imported a sample music track in the CapCut timeline. We are going to play this now. Then we'll try to remove the vocals from the music. Let's cut it at this point. Scroll here and click Isolate Voice. Let's choose to keep the voice. This should remove the music and keep the vocals. Please, 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 don't prove I'm right. Cool. Now, let's try Remove Voice. This should remove the vocals and keep the music. It's not perfect, but that works. This is how you actually make karaoke versions of songs. You don't need to use green screens anymore. CapCut can automatically remove the background from your videos. First, select the video on your CapCut timeline. Scroll and find Remove Background. Click on Auto Removal. Auto Removal works best if you want to remove a person from his background. If your video quality is HD, CapCut can detect the person's outline better. Here, you can see that the background's already removed. You can also experiment on the strokes. There are different styles like paper stroke, luminescence, straight cutout, and more. You can also customize the strokes color. You can also add a different background for your video. For example, here, I'll import a different video as my background. Click on your original video, hit overlay, align both videos, and trim clips as needed. You can pinch to zoom, scale it down, and adjust the placement and sizes freely. Import the clips on CapCut, and when a clean movement starts, go to this point, hit split, and delete the front part of the video. Again, for the second clip, when the movement starts, hit split and delete the front part. You should now have left to right moving sequences from the video. Now select your clip, hit speed curve and choose bullet curve. Delete the upper right and upper left points. Pull down the speed on the left and the right to around 3 and you have this nice speed curve. Do that with all your clips and it should look like this. 
Another awesome CapCut feature is video quality. If you have low quality videos, pixelated, a bit blurred, CapCut can fix that for you. I have here a sample low res video, but to give you an idea regarding its resolution, here's how an HD quality looks like. The video is clear and crisp even when zoomed in. You can see the details of my face clearly. Meanwhile, here's the low res version. The video is blurry. Let's use this low res version to test this feature. Here's a preview of our low res video. Click on video Video quality. You have three options here. Remove flickers can be used if your video has flickering from any lights or strobing in your scene. There is reduced image noise as well. You can use this for your videos with dark and grainy footage that's filmed in low light. This may fix that. But for this feature, I'll use image quality. We have two different options here, HD and UHD. Let's try both. I can see that the UHD version is too smooth. My eyebrows look different here. I prefer the HD version. It looks more natural and has a better quality in general. In your video, you may experiment between the two versions, HD or UHD. Check which one fits your video better, but just make sure it still looks natural. For those eager to master CapCut quickly, check out the details in the description below. If you want to build a more solid understanding of CapCut, check out our other videos that will take you from beginner to advanced skills. Plus, you'll find other additional resources in the description box that will help you level up your editing game. See you in the next video!